Hello everybody, welcome to my reaction on Survive Arachnid trailer for Dune Awakening, which is an apparently upcoming MMO open world game based on the Dune universe. I'm all for it because I, I love Dune, I, I love the books, I, it was some time, so time ago I read them, but I love this universe, it's such a cool universe. A bit flimsy and weird sometimes, absolutely, but it's still a really cool universe. So, I, I don't think we... Well, we did have that kind of like civilization kind of strategy turn base, I think it was, game uh, not that long ago based on uh, the Dune universe. But this is uh, this is an MMO. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, there's a lot of things I have a question for it, like... Oh, the, how will the how will the faction look like? Are they like? Can we join the Harkonians, Harkonian or the Atreus, the Fremen? Like, there's so many. <laughs> like, what kind of classes are there? Are they only uh, what you call the martial art with swords? Are they weapons like in the movies? <laughs> oh, this is it's gonna be interesting. I I gotta see this. Arrakis is a test. Oh. Unreal Engine, that's good. Few survive it. Wow. All design. Oh, I like that. What the hell? No, no, no. 4K. Ah, uh, 4K. Oh, we're gonna have vehicles. So we can have like bases as well. Arrakis is a test. Few survive it. But the humans that do awaken. Love the music. Okay, release date. No release date. No, apparently not. Okay. Uh, it looks good. I mean, is that an? Oh, wow. Okay, we have to talk about this. The third, this uh, scene here. Looks amazing. I mean, is this in game right now? I mean, the the, the texture. Is this an MMO? <laughs> oh wow, the texture is really. I mean, it's the Unreal Indian, so it doesn't surprise me too much. I mean, the Unreal Unreal Indian is. It's one of the best gaming uh, engines you can have out there, and it looks. Yeah, you, it looks. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. This looks good. The, is this like the beginning? Like, uh, I'm, I have so many questions right now. Like, is this kind of like the SWOT or Star Wars, the, the Old Republic kind of way? Are we going to have like different classes, different kind of uh, stories based on the classes? Uh, or is this kind of like that L scroll kind of way? Like, we're all going to have the same uh, beginning, which I, which probably is going to be. How will this work? Well, that, that's so. I'm guessing this is probably kind of like a tutorial 
area like open open sand dune and a little bit of mountain here and there but there's something in the distance here it's my dog in the background if you're wondering looks like a crab looks either like one of those cannons or a crash ship or something how would this work i'm curious is this like an Is this like an entire planet or a part of a planet or is this like open zones? I have so many questions. Remember, uh, I haven't played an MMO for now. <sighs> when did Elder Scrolls Online <laughs> came out? Was that like 2014? Oh, I do not remember. The last proper MMO I played was Star Wars Old Republic, uh, which was just a couple of, maybe a mo several months ago. But I haven't played anything new. I, don't, I have not played anything new. No new MMO, so that sort of thing. So, but a Dune MMO, that's gonna be cool. The problem <laughs> is that I'm turning old, so I don't have time for this. Oh! Way back in the time with World, Craft, World of Warcraft, uh, the Lord of the Ring Online, uh, even Swotor, even RuneScape in some uh, to one some capacity. But that was during the time when I was young, uh, teenage year when I have lots of time on my hand. Nowadays, I barely have any time with my computer. Well, so, sometimes I do. I mean, I have my job, and I I rarely get you know. Uh, this is my day off, I mostly do it in the weekends, so, like typically. Oh, I'm doing MMO. I, I, I think I know one one of my friends is going to have a lot. Of, we are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Um, so, and also the character customization. I have so many questions because, uh, as I said, I'm a little bit of a veteran with the MMOs, so I do have a lot of questions. Oh yeah, the sand. I love the fact they have kind of combined the new design of the worm with the old, with that free uh, uh, mouth opening. I like that more than the new ones. Noth nothing too... I don't hate the worm designs in the Dune movies, the newest one. Uh, they do look cool. But if it, it would have been cooler if they had those free open mouths. Like uh, I think they even had that in the book as well. I think it looks way more intimidating, way more terrifying, way more cooler in sort of way. So I l absolutely appreciate they went with the old design or the book design, I think it is more correctly. And we can build our own bases and we can get resources, kind of like... Uh, maybe this is more like that... Uh, oh, what is that? What is that space game called now again? Um, the one that just fail utterly in a release, but actually progressively became a really good game, and I have played it. What the hell was it named now again? Um, no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. That's the uh, that's the game, game I'm thinking about. The which, which you can you can have an entire plan. You can build bases. You can get resources, and obviously a lot of other plans. But is it going to be something like that? I am wondering. I love the fact we can have our own bases. Maybe more like rust. No, not rust. Um, not arm. What the hell was it called? Was is it is it rust? We can build bases on a very big uh, map. Scum as well, like something like that. Not really like that, but something combined. Oh, I have so many questions. I hope that we are going to be able to build wherever we wish. Not like, oh, we have a preset area we can build and it's going to be like a preset house design. No, no, no. I want to do my own house. I want to choose my own location. I want uh, I want to design the interior however I want, like kind of like Starfield. Or is it going to be kind of like a... There was another kind of similar thing. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. But... Oh, it looks good. And a vehicle, it's rare. Oh, excuse, excuse me. It's very rarely we see any vehicle. Hello, where are you? There. 
it's rare that we see vehicle in Dune. Like the only thing we have seen is the flying ones, the omnishopters, and the spaceships and the interstellar sh or, well, spacing gear ships. I don't remember what they were called now again. Harbinger or so Harbinger something like that. I don't remember exactly from the book. Um, Zeppelins and the harvesters and that sort of thing. Uh, and and war are we going to be able to do warm riding? Depend. It's so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh man like, can you only ride worms if you have like if you are free I want choices here I don't just want to have, be, have the choice that you can only be a free fremen which I'm par I think they're gonna go that you're gonna be forced to be one no matter if you want to or not but I want choices I want factions I can join I want to join the Arconians and, and have that sort of fun I want to join a house of trades I want to join the Fremen, I want a different kind of character and different classes and that sort of thing. I don't, I don't want to focus too much on one character. I want to have several. I want to experience a lot of things. I want a game that I can experience a lot of things and have huge amounts of time with. So, uh, it's just, it's just, <laughs> I have so many questions. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I know I have to do this very, very quickly. I gotta go on a, a little bit of walk right now with the dogs before the sun sets. It's starting to become much more brighter here in Sweden. Still, we have very short <laughs> days still until we get finally summertime. But anyway, thank you all for watching. <sighs> Ah, a Doom game, finally. Ah, I, I wanted this as well. Oh, I'm also going to upload my review on the Doom movie. I'm planning to see it one more time before I do my review, so stay up for that. It's probably gonna come around maybe tomorrow, late, late Sunday, probably. Maybe Monday, somewhere around there. But for now, you have to. <laughs> this is all you get for now. But yeah. I did actually play that Dune uh, free update for Microsoft's uh, Flight Simulator with the Omni Shopper or Omni Omni or Ofni Shopper. I'm gonna say Omni Shopper. It doesn't matter what you say if I pronounce it correct or not. Correct or not. That's the name for me, and it is fun. Like oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's unfortunately the game is so expensive, but for. <laughs> for a free update but my god it makes you just feel like why can't we have an open world doom game with this sort of fun in it and now apparently we almost are ready for it oh i'm so glad as well that dune has become so popular oh it feels like overnight almost but but I like the, the, the Doom movie so far. There are some problems I have with it, even in the second one when I saw it. I'm going to take it up when I'm doing a review. But so far, the big question a lot of people ask, I'm going to say it right now. Is Dune the Star Wars killer? I'm going to tell you right now, based on what I've seen from the two movies and so far uh, from the marketing from several games right now, this is not just the only Doom game they came out. They came out. I gave an example uh, previous with that Civilization game, kind of based, and it's actually I actually played it. it. Was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. It was really fun. But uh, I'm ready to tell you right now. Dune has become this generation Lord of the Rings. Like when I grew up, the Lord of the Rings was the main thing, alongside with the Harry Potter and uh, excuse me, the Star Wars prequel. But ever since then, this not been so, this not been anything that came remotely close for me at least. I mean, the Marvel movies I never liked them. I never really liked the idea of the superheroes. I'm sorry, I just do not like it. So uh, to me, all the Marvel movies just passed right through me. The the Hobbit movies they were okay, but they weren't the same. Itching. Um, what else? The Star Wars, uh, Star Wars sequel. <sighs> Star Wars is dead. I don't really. I, I just don't know why people. 
I just do not know why people are there trying to hang on to Star Wars. It's dead, people. It's dead. S Disney has brutally murdered Star Wars. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we got something to replace it with. It's Dune. Even though Dune is almost like a decade older than Star Wars and uh, there's been a lot of controversies between Dune and Star Wars because uh, apparently a lot of things from Dune has been kind of like borrowed or some people say steal by George Lucas from Dune to Star Wars. I can definitely see some of it but Dune, is a, Dune and Star Wars to me is are vastly different, uh, two different uh, uh, yeah, world and universes and that sort of thing. absolutely. Even though they have a lot of similarities, but Dune, it just feels like it is its own universe. It's so unique and Star Wars, it's, it's unique as well, but it has completely been shattered by Disney. And, and if I have to say it, woke culture. <laughs> Even though I don't really care much about that sort of things, but I can definitely tell you, for someone who is very political neutral in a lot of things, I will say the wokeism and uh, that sort of pandering has definitely killed the, uh, the Star Wars, unfortunately. I'm so happy that we have Dune to replace it. Anyway, thank you all for watching and see you all later for my Dune, review, Dune Part 2 review. Thank you all.